Hey, I'm Anfa. Welcome to another Liblast development update. Uh, if you didn't know, Liblast is a free and open source multiplayer FPS game project developed exclusively with open source software using the Godot 4 game engine. Uh, we've been on the Godot engine, on the Godot 4 engine, before it was in alpha. <laughs> so since pre alpha, uh, we've been working with Godot 4 and yeah, we've gone all through all of the development pains and uh, I'm excited to to see uh, Godot 4 having a stable release soon-ish. All right, let's take a look at what's new. Uh, you can see that the, the background screen is a bit new. Uh, it's a bit different. I've also introduced a frame rate reduction and a frame rate limit and a resolution reduction. It's actually it's downscaled two times and there's also temporal anti-aliasing to lower the GPU load off the back menu background on the whole thing because it looks nice, but it was too taxing. All right. What we have new is we have now controlled the amount of bots. So if I go to a map, let's go with the, the box. Let him have it. We also have a music track, a new original music track that is made specifically for the game. And it's now playing in, in game. So we can spawn a, bot, a couple bots. And they now occupy spaces in the scoreboard. We can add one more so the teams are even. And now we can set a simple game, you know. I'm actually I could enable Gibbs. Render Gibbs true. Now if we wreck someone. We'll see flying bits. Some of them are flaming, which is funny. Machine gun is easier for this kind of thing. to despawn before I kill them. <laughs> ah, I'll never get sold. Oh. It's like, always I kill someone and then I run out of ammo. Before I can jib them. It's like, oh, I want to jib them. Okay, so that's just a box. Let's despawn all the bots. And go to a map C. Now the music stops abruptly. Something that would probably be nice to address. We've got the new logo. Let's spawn more of these. Now there's also an option to make bots only fill vacant spaces. And the idea is that if people join the game, then bots despawn so that the bots are trying to fill up fill in the gaps so that there's a minimum amount of characters in the game at all times but if humans join then bots will leave that doesn't necessarily work <laughs> also the bots are kind of silly now i mean they're it's very slow to catch you as a target and I think I should, I should work to improve that. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, some of the character physics are still weird. Oh. Whoops. Ah, another thing is we have a bunch of new screen shake effects. For taking damage, we have a new cheek push effect. Okay, that was too much damage. I didn't survive that. <laughs> yeah, I've been dominated, that's true. So if we take any damage... Our camera will shake a little bit. Is wrong. Also, there's now a screen shake effect for explosions. If something explodes nearby, you're gonna screen shake. You can see now my weapon shakes a bit. Actually, the whole camera shakes. And also, if I take damage, we have a tilt shake, so the camera tilts, which is a unique kind of screen shake for... And if nothing else causes your camera to tilt, which is... I think which is useful feedback, because... I think it's important that the screen shake doesn't just provide, you know, flair, but also information so that it helps you figure out what's going on in the game. Of course, part of its job is to immerse you, oh snap, and feel like you're grounded in the game world. But also, let you know what's happening. So if you're taking damage, then the screen shake is different. Helps you realize what's going on. You see the camera is tilting. Now I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah. My idea for the music is to make it dynamic at some point, so that it will react to what happens in the game. I've been doing some experiments, but nothing successful yet. Not showing the results, because they don't work. But I hope to get something working at some point that could actually provide uh, also, like, you know, game, game state feedback, so that the music tells you kind of what, what's going on, for example. But that also... Yeah, these things are slowly coming together. Oh, I wanted to jib him and see all the bits fly in all directions. Yeah. Ooh, nice. I think there's a there's some real high skill ceiling with using the plasma combo because you know with uh, under tournaments ASMD, well, you need to hit a ball with hits can attack, but here you need to like correlate two projectiles to collide in a certain place. Which, you know, can be difficult, especially because their hitboxes are quite small. And I've been tweaking them to make this harder to do, because... 
It also means that you can accidentally get blown up if someone, you know, like shoots a small ball of plasma in your face while you're shooting a big ball. Whoa. And also there is danger of killing yourself with the plasma gun, which isn't really what you can do with ASMD because um, the primary fire takes a while to recharge. Uh, when you hit the secondary so that you can't really detonate the the ASMD combo in your phone face with With plasma gun and the blast you can Which means you can you know hit someone closer to you with the combo which can also hit yourself like I did just now I mean this is all possibly you know something to tweak yet, but because it might not be a good idea to have this be potentially deadly. I mean, people might get very frustrated that they're killing themselves to combo all the time. But, you know, it's a risk-reward thing. You use the combo, you can get burned. <laughs> I should be able to, like, have the bits, um, fly in different directions, or at least be destroyed by projectiles. I think they are. Whoa. Never gets old. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but this guy got jibbed, exploded. Is getting a bit of a visual upgrade and we can try using screen space reflections not sure if it's gonna work the screen space reflections have been getting some tweaks so they are potentially actually not terrible you know I think I'm using. Yeah, I think I'm. I have roughness disabled. Just they're 100 sharp, so that's really not showing the new improvement. Oh yeah, you can turn on, turn up the graphics in Roblox if you want. some issues with caching assets or resources. Whoa, that's lots of guys. Oh, I'm so slow to use this combo. I run out of the jetpack. <laughs> oh, also there's a new um, plasma gun model you may have noticed. It's like actually finished now. The texturing is done. Mm. Able to destroy these jibs or throw them around. 
doesn't seem to work. Maybe they're... Oh, yeah, this is what I was talking about. I shot a secondary plasma bolt, but that guy shot me with the primary, and whoever hits the, the, the secondary with their primary makes it so that they get the, the kill. So that guy killed me with my own plasma. Which is really hard to do intentionally because of the travel time and everything, but <laughs> up close it's quite possible to happen unintentionally, which is nothing funny. By the way, you might notice that my frame rate isn't great now. So turning the visuals lower is better on that. See how the scores look. Yeah, we're near 100 frags. The other team is 60 frags. Um. Yep. Oh, one on one. Okay. I think that's a good place to stop. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um. I hope to do a new release of Liblast soon. That was going to be one, 0 0.1.8, I think. Um, unfortunately, I can't update the, the dedicated server because uh, Godot has a regression and running the game in uh, headless mode just crashes it immediately, so I can't update the server. <laughs> so you can't... You can join the public server with the new builds, and uh, yeah, I hope they're gonna fix that before the stable release of Godot 4. Because that's kind of silly, you know, having something like that in your stable release. I mean, I'm sure no, but not, not many people are gonna experience that. I'm experiencing it because, you know, I'm doing weird things. So relaxing, Just spewing plasma at people. Oh, I think some sound effects are not sent to this effects bus. Yep. That's all. Thanks for watching. Bye.